Da, da, ba, ba. What's up? Let's go. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the DJ Beep Show. I got to bleep it at least in the first 30 seconds just to make sure that YouTube doesn't, uh, doesn't come after me. Come on in. Let me know who's here. I got my guy here. We're ready. Let's F and go. Again, I, I, I can't. I can't swear yet. I mean, let's get a minute into let's get a minute into it, and then we're gonna let them we're gonna let them let them let them fly. We're gonna let them fly. I got a special guest here today. I'm gonna bring him on in just a little bit. Before I do, say hi to me in the chat so I can say hi. Give a little shout out to everybody. It's been a couple of weeks since I did a show, and I told you, like I, I want to do this, you know, consistency. Um, but the sound isn't matching the video. Okay. Is it a little slow? What's going on? Is that everybody? Is it slow? Uh, anybody else having that problem? Uh, let's see. Somebody else tell me. I want to make sure that it's caught up. Maybe is it a little slow? Uh, if I get one more complaint, otherwise, Michael, it's your fucking broadband. There it is. The first one. Ding, ding. Got one out. Nope, Kenny is good. Kenny says it's good. All right, Michael, it's your shit, bro. Uh, let's say hi to Wickham to a. Okay, must just it is you. <laughs> it's you. It seems to match. All right, so it's just you. Uh, out of North Carolina, you and your wife are responsible for me getting the Maui twenty eight G threes, and I didn't get a goddamn cent from it. I'm glad you're not going to be disappointed. Those those speakers are great. Th those are incredible. All right, Kenny, what's up, bro? How's it going? Welcome everybody that's showing up. Uh, come on on in. Say hi. Say hi so I can say hi to you. Mike is here. What's up, Mike? What's up? Yeah, like I said, I want to do this. Uh, I think I'm going to do it more regular. I will let you know. Stick to the end because I'm going to tell you about the special guest I come that I have on. Not next week, but the week after. Next week is spring break here so um we're gonna do something with the fam so i won't do a show but yeah i'm gonna try to do this a little bit more regular bring some guests on and then once wedding season starts firing up i'll have a little bit more stuff to talk about and and that's the thing like i want to do a stream but i want to have something i want to have something to say and that's that's that literally happened last week i was like oh i should do a stream and i had nothing to say so if i got nothing to say i just don't want to just i don't want to do it all right, Louis says it's all good. Awesome from Massachusetts. Said that you got it. All right, uh, I'm gonna get to my guest in just a second. I got DJ J Book here. Oh man, I'm pumped. Uh, th this is like our first ever conversation, by the way. Like we've interacted on Instagram before, and we've uh, but we've never met in real life. So what you're about to see is uh is two people meeting and chatting for the first time but i'm gonna show you this have you guys seen this it's kind of circulating around the internet i saw it on reddit and there's speculation that this is uh fake and so we'll, we'll determine that at the end but i guess this is a video clip from a ceremony of a wedding and it's kind of wild now i will warn you i did a test of the audio and it's loud and there's no way for me to adjust it in the software that I use. So I'm giving you a warning right now. Everybody turn your speakers down or your head or if you have headphones, take them out for a second because <laughs> it's loud and I don't want to, I don't want to kill you, especially at work. I don't want to, I don't want to ding you. Okay. Let's watch this and then, uh, and then we'll chat about it. Everyone, thank you for coming on this wonderful occasion on this wedding day to my business. Thank you for all this being there for me. And baby, I love you. I truly love you. There's one thing I want to talk to you about, but I couldn't figure out the words to express it. So I figured the best way to bring that to you would be to show you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So some context on that. What the caption said was this uh, groom found out that his bride-to-be 
was cheating on him. And then as a little surprise, instead of doing the confrontation in the privacy of their own home uh, or off camera, they run through the whole wedding ceremony, sets up a little screen uh, with the audio and just plays the video that he caught of his fiance cheat, opening the door and just smooching with some dude. <laughs> Oh, man, I think what, what made me laugh was uh, his, like, look. I mean, uh, okay, it reeks a little bit of being fake and set up, right? A couple of things, like, one, I didn't think her reaction was as much as I thought it, you know, the reaction that you think you would get. Um, the second was his straight up kind of, like, looking in the camera, like, yeah, you just... <laughs> You guys see what I what I'm dealing with here? Right in front of everybody, the reaction from the crowd. Uh Randy, you say that's a skit. I'm okay with it. I'm if that's a skit, it was funny. Now I know there's like a, you know, people online were like, this is fucking fake. And all right, that's fine. Look, it's harder to believe these things anymore. I get that, but it made me think like um, one of the things that uh, another giveaway for me was the screen set up behind, you know, the ceremony. I can imagine any bride liking that idea, having a big white screen, and, and unless you know he was like, "I got a, uh, I got a surprise for you, babe," and there was that. But what would you do if you were the DJ, and uh, <laughs> I, and and that happens? I think the first thing that would pop in my head is. Well, I'm going home early, which, all right, I'm fine with that. Um, second thing is, oh, damn it, I wish I got that on, on, on camera. <laughs> and then the other thing is, like, I wonder, I know that people, like, have been caught cheating or whatever. Is that the right route to go, sort of like that public humiliation? I, I, I think if you're cheating, um, yeah, that's the way to go. Bust them out put it out there, bring everybody in, kick her ass home, keep all your people there, and then you just guys have a great ass party. That's that's that would be what I would hope would happen. And I would even let the groom know like, "Bro, do you want to uh do you want to drop it was it me?" See, exactly like that would be amazing. That's a DJ that's dialed in. You're dialed into the moment and you know what's going on and you just drop that instantly <laughs> right away. Yeah, kick her ass home. Get you, you keep the bridesmaids. Especially if they're cute. Keep them there. That way we you know, that way we're gonna have a good party. Maybe the maybe the groom just just finds a replacement, you know, that that night. But I'd say keep the party going, kick her out, and just and just have have a great night. What would you play? Hole by Ludacris. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? I, I just, I love the idea of being in that situation um, just for the story alone, right? It's horrible for everybody going on, but what'd you say here, Michael? Not nearly as bad, but I did a wedding where the mom had a surprise slideshow. Oh, God. See, surprises. We'll talk about those. I'll ask, remind, Jay, remind me to ask you about that. But um, I was put on the spot. Anyway, I played it. Bride was pissed. Walked up on the stage and told me to turn it off. Oh, man. What happened? What kind of pictures were shown? Did she have, like, a bunch of pictures of, like, her ex up there? Like, what slideshow would you play that would piss the bride off? And <sighs> Surprises. It's not a good idea. I don't think anybody wants to be surprised. And I'm always super skeptical before I, I agree to one, especially especially if it, um, oh, what did you say here? It was her childhood and she wasn't comfortable with it. Okay. Oh, oof, there's some, some baggage there. Uh, you, you know, when I get somebody like emailing me like, hi, I'm the maid of honor and we're going to surprise Kelsey with a uh with a with a uh a song we want to sing a song like right away red flags go up like oh man i need to see like an audition tape i need you to send me like i need to see it you know because i'm an american idol your ass if if you send me something and it's ter I, I, you know i'd have to be honest be like or i'd secretly tell the bride like hey you know your maid of honor wants to sing a song i listen to it she and she'd be like oh my god no 
Thank you, Aaron, for not letting that <laughs> for not letting that happen. Oh my God, but that would suck, especially because you know, then you wonder like, who's getting blamed? Is she gonna blame you for that? Yeah, a little bit. I'm I'm guessing too that hopefully wedding planner is is in on this too, and then maybe they could you know provide some insight on the situation. Like, hey, hey, don't don't play that slideshow. She's like really uncomfortable with her childhood. Don't play that. All right. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. Okay, guys, you guys ready? I'm I'm ready. Let's give him an introduction. Here we go. It's time! Put your hands together, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that intro, right? Yo, that's different. Okay, I was wondering what was about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I pay big bucks to get Bruce Buffer to give me the it's time <laughs> intro. I mean, that cost me $500. All Jesus. right. So if you haven't already hit the like button or at least get a little super chats going to help cover the cost that I just had to have Bruce Buffer bring in Jay Book. Everybody, come on. Say hi to Jay Book. What's happening? What's happening, people? What's going on? Yeah, thanks for being here, man. I, no problem, I'm, I'm glad this worked. It's, it's been cool to like see you on my streams you know i've done some streams i see you like jump on and uh oh, yeah. you know when i can i try to i know you got a night stream i know you were like testing out the idea and you were kind of going back and forth on you know when you wanted to do it yeah. what how do you feel about you know the evening versus like the morning shift like what was your thought like going back and forth on that well i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you I, I, the reason that i picked the time slot that i did because i kind of felt like that's when people I kind of base it off of me. So I, I base it like I have the most time in the evening. So if I'm going to watch somebody or listen to a podcast, that majority of the time it would probably be in the evening. So I just figured, you know, right before like football, because I, I didn't want to miss football. I, I started the show when football started. And I was just like, I want to make sure that it's a time where, you know, guys will probably be watching TV, but really nothing's on TV. So, hey, you know, if a YouTuber comes on, or if I watch this guy's, you know, videos and stuff like that. Maybe if I put a live stream on for an hour and kept it at an hour, it didn't interfere with their time. So I kind of thought about it like that. But then you guys come on and, and stuff and you and some other DJs and and you guys get all kind of like viewers and stuff in the afternoon. So I'm like, wait, should this show actually be in the afternoon? Should I move it? And so I just I've been throwing it back and forth. But everybody that I've asked, they were like, no, I keep it. Keep it like a night show because nobody Keep really it does it in the evening. I'm like, okay. I I think that, yeah, same deal. Like when I first started doing streaming, I was doing later too. Because same deal. One reason that I wanted to do in the evening is so I could drink alcohol. I wanted to make sure <laughs> that, you know, having a scotch at 11 o'clock in the morning is like, I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that people would reach out and be like, bro, you got a, a problem, right? <laughs> So like I wanted to drink and then I, I thought the same thing as you like, hey, it's night. I like, you know, sometimes, but I, I what I noticed too is like, so with my family and my wife and my kids, like I was kind of taken away from that. But then I thought, well, I wonder if people like at work will like throw it on and just kind of have it on and put headphones right. on. Cause I think like, let me know guys, how many of you are at work right now? That's what I wouldn't have. I, I want to know who's Great at question. work. And I think even just, uh, he said, you guys get me through the work day. Work See, day. This, okay. this is what I'm talking. I okay. think that it's kind of like, um, like a during the day, put it on, put the headphones on and they come back. But I guess if it's like a rewatch, I think that night is, it's cool too, but yeah. you know, then they, the next day at work, then they can, they can watch it. Here we go. We got, uh, Max, Max is at work on the lunch break. Yep. Working right now. <laughs> <laughs> at work okay, okay. work remote i don't know dude i you know i'm at work but i Maybe. work for myself yeah it's it's kind of like uh it's a little entertain put it on you can pause if you that's kind of when i watch nick's show too when i watch yeah. nick uh you know he's at 11 in, on tuesdays and so like i'll either put it on if i'm doing something but i know it youtube is 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 so trial and error and shot in the dark yes. and what are so You've been doing this for a while. I I, I did some um, digging. I, I wanted to see what you've been up to, bro. You've been on since for seven years is what I found, like your first video, right? Yeah. What it, made it you decide been... to jump on and just like hit hit record and upload? What what was it? So believe it or not, I was actually contemplating stopping DJing altogether. It just felt repetitive. It just felt lackluster. I just felt like 
man, you know, I've already been doing this for some years and it's, it's just the same thing every weekend. And I had a, um, uh, a nine to five. Also, I used to work at the tax office and it was during tax season. And I was, I was in the office, just kind of sitting down, just chilling out and all this stuff. And nobody was really coming in because who comes into the tax office unless, you know, you you're ready to get some money immediately. So Bro, I'm like just, shocked by that, by the way, As you were, you were like an accountant <laughs> yeah, in, in a sense. I was kind of like an accountant, you know, I, I'm really good with numbers. Um, and so I just decided that maybe I should be a tax consultant because, uh, you know, my stepfather kind of instilled it in me to kind of learn numbers. You're going to need numbers. You're going to need, if you can calculate numbers for somebody else, people will pay you. And I'm like, Oh, okay. So I, I'm just sitting at a tax office, just waiting and I'm just surfing on YouTube. And, uh, I don't even know what I was surf surfing for that day. I uh, probably something DJ related and, um, came across Rick Webb's channel. I don't know how it just kind of popped up and I clicked on it and I was like, wait, you can record videos and put them on YouTube hmm. and people will look at it and all this cool stuff starts happening to you. I was like, Oh, okay. I could try something like that. But I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to get on there and hold this camera up the whole time and turn it back around and turn it back around. <laughs> you know, So <laughs> it's been a lot of trial and error and stuff over the years, but I've kind of gotten my my niche and stuff down, but yeah, for the most part, it was it was just a shot in the dark. It it actually revived my DJ career. It kept me going even to this day. It keeps me going to be able to be in front of the camera and do DJ related stuff. So it adds a little element of extraness to the event, you know. And I, you know, it's true. Like I feel like when I started doing gig logs too, it was. Not only was the it, there was the anticipation of the of the gig, but it was like, what's gonna happen? I right. hope that's something juicy I can catch, or right. you know, um, makes you feel like, all right, well, here's something new I can show. And yep. and, and I think that's been the challenge, it, at least for me. I haven't done one in a while because I I now feel like nothing. I, I don't have anything else to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's kind of like where I'm at with the gig log and. Okay. I still like to watch them. Not, I don't watch them as much, but um, that that was it. Like, I think early on, I was able to capture some crazy things. Like, like, uh, and I want to ask you this too. Okay, you, your craziest. I want to think about while I'm telling you, like, your the craziest thing you caught on camera. One of the funniest things I caught on camera, and it, it, it's it's weird. It's one of my least watched ones, but it's too <laughs> bad because it's funny as fuck. Is there was this? They wanted to do a sparkler send off, mm -hmm. and the groom was in charge. Usually when that's the case, you know you're in for it, right? <laughs> right? So this guy, and it was in like a, a tent, so I knew it was kind of like a budget wedding. Well, instead of getting like the nice sparklers, he, he got like these Roman candle <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Bro, it was time to shoot them off, and he handed them out to everybody, and they lit them, and it was just shooting smoke bombs at everybody. <laughs> and we all went outside, and they were shooting it off, and it, it, it filled the whole area with smoke. People were like... <laughs> <laughs> they were like wheezing and screaming. There's like people screaming. I grabbed my camera. I'm like, holy fuck. And right. I grabbed and I ran outside and I was like, do you believe it? it was unreal, bro? It was like the craziest shit I ever caught. Oh my so gosh. That that kind of made it a little bit more fun. Like I like to add a little like, okay, this happened, you know, but then you've probably bumped into this or you do a wedding oh, yeah. and you're like, oh, it's just kind of like everything went great. And and that's kind of boring to, yeah. to to even even hear about you know i i put a gig log out and was like the title was um everybody dance the best wedding ever and it was right. like skip i don't care i want to see some <laughs> shit right 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 and we can talk about that too because i'm telling you right now youtube is so weird it's like you you want to put out your great stuff so you can showcase yourself but then when you put out something like you won't believe what happened or if you put out something like a fire started people are like clicking clicking like they love drama Yep. So if you've got drama at your event, that's the ones that get the most views. Exactly. You can have three people dancing, but drama happen, and that's the one they look at the most. And, and you you almost feel like, am I creating a, a clickbaity situation? Yeah. You yeah. have to deliver, yeah. you know. Otherwise, uh, the the audience will turn on you. And you guys can speak to this in the chat. Tell us. I mean, we're here. <laughs> we're, we're creating the content for you. Like, is it, I've noticed that my least clicked on videos are like what you said, where it was just uh, everything went well. But it's oh, yep. it, the, the thing that every YouTube 
uh, coach or, or video that like teaches you how to do it will say is you have to create intrigue. There right. has to be a little bit of sense. Otherwise, uh, there, the, you, there's no click. I mean, there are people out there that will click on your content because they're a fan. Like they just, they like you. So whatever you put out, they'll, they'll watch it, right? Yep. But if you want to grow or you want to get it going, then you almost have to sort of create a little, like you said, like, oh, and you're hoping. Right. Please let some shit go down that I have right. something to say. What do you What do you think about that? You feel so, that too? I, yeah, I, I feel the exact same way. I mean, one of my most viewed videos, it's got like, um, I don't know, in the the couple of hundred, I think it's like a hundred thousand, something like that. Yeah. Um, it, the title is literally popping out at a wedding. Now, I I didn't mean something popped out. I yeah. meant. I, I literally meant playing <laughs> pop music, <laughs> but because the title said "popping out at a wedding," I, I, I didn't. I had no idea, but it it just blew up, and I'm like, well, "What's so different about?" I mean, there's no difference in what I just put out and this one. Well, to be uh, fair, uh, your thumbnail had a dick in it, so that's probably what you were thinking about. Oh my I remember gosh. That shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. You you have to, I mean, like that's kind of the thing that you need. Um, and that's the ch I think that's our challenge, especially with gig logs. Like, I feel like re um reviews, um, you know, a speaker review also, right? Yeah. You you yeah. kind of do that. There, there's some intrigue there. Oh, what do you think about this? Right. But then I was talking to Bar on my last stream about it too, like with all that hubble baloob that happened over that ominous duo, th th now there's like don't be a phony or, or right. you got it for free. You've got right. some shit for free too, right? I mean, you've yeah, got some absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, 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 and it's not for, here's the thing for people to know. I don't think it's free. You don't, you, we got it because you create content and you kind of built an audience, right? That's right. kind of right. like the, the back and forth. And so then you, you, you want to be honest as well. You know, have you ever gotten anything and you're like, I have, I, I don't have anything nice to say about this thing. Yes, I've gotten a few things, and that's why videos have not come out because when I tried it, I was just like, "This is horrible." Yeah, and I was like, you know, if I if I put it out there, my worry is that if I tell one company, you know, no, and this is horrible, like, do they have an affiliation with another company? Like, can they tell another company that I'm trying to reach out to? It, you know, he didn't work with us. You probably don't. He he's difficult. You know, I, I always worry about that, but yeah, I've definitely gotten product and stuff. I'm in a fight. I look, I don't know if I can say it on here, but I'm do in it. a fight right now. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll just put them on blast right now. Do it. Fucking do it. <laughs> I am in a battle with sheds and stuff right now. Okay. Oh. Sheds is a, is their, their products and stuff look like they are pretty freaking decent. So I, I had, they reached out to me and they yep. sent me out something and uh, they sent me out two lights and I tested them out. And one of the lights during a video, I don't it, I put it in a gig log, but it's the light of the back of the light fell off. Like the whole back just just came like the casing around it just came off. And so, you know, I it's started a mover, bashing, right? It was a yeah, mover. It was a wash mover. And I I started bashing them and stuff. And I was just like, you know, what, what kind of quality is this from this company, right? And so they um they kept hounding me and hounding me and hounding me. And they're like, you know, how come you haven't come out of a video? I'm like, because you know, the product is shit. Like it's it, it broke on me. I have a I have a video and pictures right here where it's broken. And so to rectify the situation, they sent me out another one. Okay. And um, cool. I asked them, I said, well, can I get the case? Because like, you know, you guys want me to, you know, keep taking this out to, you know, $1,000 and $2,000 events. And there's no case. I have no way to, to make it travel. Uh -huh. And they're like, well, you can just use the cardboard box that we sent you. With them. I'm like, I can't go into an event and they see me put cardboard. That, that's Duct not going to work. That doesn't work for me. And yeah. so they're like, well, that's our budget. I'm sorry. We can't. <laughs> it's an ongoing battle. Let's just say that. <laughs> it's yeah. That, that's I've heard of them too. They reached out as well. And yeah. one of the reasons why I didn't uh, take anything, I don't use movers. And, and that's the thing too. Like I'll, I'll, I'll look and be like, all right, what do you got? And I'll take a peek at what their stuff is. And like, there's nothing yeah. here I would want. You know, they have up lighting, but I already do stuff with both. And I feel like, you know, that's very, because this, this is a Chinese um, company, right? I, be, I, believe, I believe so. Uh, them and Bet Shopper or Bet Topper or something like that. I think they they are, I want to say they are brother or sister companies or something like that, because they their emails come like literally minutes within each other all the time. 
oh like hey we saw content you're really good at this like would yeah. you like to go right. to our website and pick an item right what do you mean? one item we want to pick one mover i mean i need both of them what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about i need both of them and i need the case uh hello yeah make it pra make it practical that was the one thing when i reached out to sweetwater they sent me the 44 g2 and then okay. i was like hey look they sent me one and i was like hey i want to take it out to a gig and right. I feel like that's going to be a more interesting video to like have it. I want to, you know, I could do the test in the venue, which I did, but like, I want to take this fucking thing out. Right. Right. And they were like, Oh, cool. Awesome. And they sent me another one. So like that, that makes sense. Right. And so some companies, you know, when you kind of reach out, like, Hey, look, I, I don't want to show up with a cardboard box. Right. Open Just this thing up with the styro getting fucking styrofoam all over the floor. Right. You know, and the duct taping at the end of the night, like, Oh, it's a pretty right. good night. And they're like this fucking guy. Right. 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 So it's crazy because like I see other um, like I, I, I did some research on the lights and stuff right before that to see if there were videos out to see, you know, what hit with the audience. And I noticed that every single guy that did a review on the light, they either if they did have two lights, it, they never took it out to a gig and it uh -huh. was always in their house. And some guys only got one light. So I was just like, huh, this this is a pattern. This yeah. company really does not, they're, they're kind of stingy and stuff with their stuff. So I didn't realize that ahead of time. If I would have done my research uh, ahead of time, I probably would have just told them no. But I mean, the the lights and stuff, they, they've been pretty good. They're pretty decent. I use them for, you know, smaller events, anything 100 and below. I'll use that, but anything above that, I just I just use my focus spot for Z. <laughs> so they have they haven't fallen apart since like they sent you a new one. It, no, it, it didn't like it didn't fall apart since. You no, got no, they actually sent me that, but then uh, they also asked if I would test out the uh, a cold spark, and I told oh. them I said a cold spark. And they said, yeah, just just a cold spark. And I went and looked at how much the cold spark was. Well, it's, it's the same amount as the case. I said I would really rather get the case for these. That, Oh. No, we can't. We can't do the case. <laughs> Go back to the I'm case. Like, they're yeah, not giving that to you. They're not giving me that case. So they're just like, no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Bro, that reminds me like um, when I sold, when we sold our house, mm -hmm. um, the guy who bought our house. Now, this was this was last year where the market was sort of like in the cellar, right? It was, right. it was, you know, I got a house. You need one. I'm I have all the hand. Right. This fucking guy <laughs> want to buy my house. Uh, sent somebody through and wants a brand new front door. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, because there was a little bit of a, 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 there wasn't even a crack in it, just inside the glass panel, like some of the uh, lining was coming out or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, no, you're not, you're not getting a goddamn, you know, I put my foot down. And, he's, <laughs> and he comes back with his realtor like, listen, my guy wants this door. Right. And in my head, I'm like, I'm going to get you the cheapest fucking i'll go to menards and find what used section where's your used door section or whatever i'll put i'll just throw it in the garage here's your goddamn door right and back and forth door 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 so i t we called our realtor and i was like cancel it cancel the deal i'm canceling this deal over this door <laughs> and then right away they come back with like okay yeah he accepts the deal without the door right. Like, that's right. Right. right that's these guys <laughs> they were like oh we got book on the line again he wants this fucking case like he's right. not getting the case right not no yet. case <laughs> no <laughs> case just drag them out there with your boxes we got him right. we got him a box so i don't it, see what the big deal is <laughs> oh bro it's crazy out there man all right so i told you like that fireworks what's kind of like one of the wildest things you caught on camera that you just sort of like oh my god i can't believe that that um, happened yeah um i mean I've, I've had you know i've had the falls and stuff like that i've had people falling into my stuff um but the one that's interesting that only 1500 people got to see. And there's a reason for that is I did a wedding and the bride was kind of shy. Um, and she was, I guess had like really bad anxiety and she like literally held up the wedding throughout the day, whether it was for the ceremony or whether it was for introductions or whether anything that had to do with spotlight, she was just like really hesitant and like did not want to do it. I'm like, well, you know, you're having a wedding, so you, you have to do these. So her guests got really, really drunk. And these guys are from like New York and stuff like that. So they, um, they moved down here and then all their family came down. Um, and their, their guests got really drunk. The groom was like hyped and he was like, yeah, can you, you know, play New York style of music? And I was like, yeah, I can do all that. So, you know, we're in the middle of it. One of their guests got really drunk and she, 
got mad at something. I don't know what it was. I couldn't hear, but I could see. And she took her plate and slammed it down on the ground, and it just shatters, right? Yeah. Then she proceeds to walk to the bathroom and just steps on the shattered pieces of her plate. Well, no shoes. Yeah, no shoes. Now, when she's walking back, people notice that she's leaving a trail of blood. And this is not just oh. any kind of blood. Like, her foot is sliced on both feet. And they're telling her to sit down. But, again, she's intoxicated. So she's just like, so leave blood's me running faster, right. too. Blood right. is thinner. <laughs> and she's like, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. And I'm just like, all this is on the camera behind me. Like, I, you know, all I'm capturing all this, but I have no idea. I'm sitting there playing. And I see it, but I still can't hear it. But I can see her, like, flailing, you know, flaring her hands and all this stuff. Next thing I know, the police, the fire oh. department, everybody shows up there. And they're like, you know, they 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 called us out here. Do you need assistance? They told me to stop the music and stuff. And the woman still is just like, no, I don't need you. I don't need you. And blah, blah, blah. So I say all of that. And then I post the video and I say, you know, in the videos, you know, I, I went outside, took a picture of the ambulance and said, you won't believe this. And so I put the video up. Oh, I'm getting that's like, great. Views yeah. start yeah. coming through and people are just like, oh, 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 you know, looking at it. And then I get a, a phone call uh, from the venue and says, the, the, the bride wants you to call her. I'm like, okay. So I, I call her. She didn't pick up. She then texts me. And she's like, hey, um, I heard that you have a video up and stuff. Uh, that, that wasn't, you know, my brightest moment. And it wasn't, you know, what I really wanted to convey and stuff. And mm. I need you to take that video down. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, damn shit. it. Like, oh, the views are just coming. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> I'm like, are I you finally sh- got one. <laughs> damn it. No. <laughs> are you sure? Like, are you sure? Like, like, did you see the video? I mean, it, it wasn't. See how many the, likes and engagements I'm right, getting? Like, like, like on, I didn't see hit. anything bad about you or anything. Right. She, she's like, yeah, I, I, I kind of need that taken down. But and it I wasn't just, even her. Like, she wasn't the one that. Right. It wasn't her. It was just the event. And yeah. And, you know, some of the things I said at the end was like, you know, it was it was a little different. Brad had a little bit of anxiety, but I wasn't like going in on her. I was just like, yeah, she had a little bit of anxiety. You know, it was a little different. But this is what happened. I'm like really focused on all that crazy stuff that happened. And she just asked me to take it down. And it was it sucked. But that was that was one of the ones that stand out to me the most, because the video is still on my log of videos. I didn't erase it, but I had to put it to where it's like private the way you private. can't see it yeah you know and i just look at that video every so often i'm just like damn it that was like, so that, good that was gonna be how long that, ago was it how long ago was it oh gosh because i wonder like, like has it become public domain like you are you <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> are you legally allowed now to put it up like hey hey girl it's been five years so look, uh, i'm allowed look, i saw what you went through with those reviews <laughs> and i'm not trying to go through that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> this motherfucker put my video back up after I told him not to. Oh, yep. Jesus. I'm yeah. not trying to go through that, bro. So I was just like, <laughs> nope, that's not going to happen. Um, but I, I feel like I know it was definitely before COVID. So it was probably like 2018. Uh, I was like, like that. Uh, you're getting, technically getting into the yeah. you forget. You know, she forgot about you face. Like, oh, I forgot about Unless it pops again. Right. And then it goes viral. And they're right. like, hey, Sheila, look, you're on the look, internet. Right, like, look, you're, you're back. <laughs> I told him, which you're number? Fine. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah oh, man, man. That, that's the craziest one that one always stands out because it, it had so many different layers and stuff to it and yeah. stuff so that was probably one of my craziest yeah alcohol really adds to the you know you know like oh man when they're drinking i'm gonna see some shit oh yeah oh yeah hey t- tell me tell us a little bit about like um this is a hot topic you know rick okay. r- speaking of rick webb earlier you mentioned him isn't it kind of cool that you saw his video were in, and, and that's that was YouTube, by the way. Right. It wasn't an accident. YouTube somehow, <laughs> they all know. Like, bro, I was just having some neighbors at my house, and we were having like a party, and we were playing poker. And I, one of them said, "Hey, do you have a fire pit?" And mm-hmm. I was like, "No," but I was thinking about get. I'm not even kidding. I'm on scrolling. Bam! Hey, want a fire pit in your backyard? Like yep. you, son of a bitch. Yep. They are fucking listening, listening all the so time. They knew. Oh, here's a DJ. Oh, here's some. Here's a video. I think yep. you'll enjoy. And they were right. The scariest thing is how right they are. Like yes. sometimes I'll see something and I'll be like, I know it's just the algorithm, but I'm like, well, I'm gonna watch it anyways because they yep. know. Like, they don't mean better than my wife. Like they know me. That's yep. terrifying. Yep. yep. Um, 
<laughs> so you saw his video, it like rejuvenated your love for DJing, you start the channel, and how does it end? A couple of weeks ago, you got an invite to the wedding. Yes, yes. That Talk started, about that. How was that? That started a, a long relationship because what it what happened was I was um when Rick moved down here, like we we didn't like talk or anything like that because he originally lived in Ohio. So I had just been watching his content, watching his content, watching his content. By then I had come across, you know, bar pretty much like everybody else who's probably here. You come across bar. If you come across Rick, you're gonna come across bar, and mm -hmm. you know their videos. And then they they kind of met, and it was like the start of the Avengers and stuff like that. <laughs> so, you know, it just like it just kind of started happening. And then he moved down to North Carolina, and for some reason, I guess one of my videos finally came across him, and um, I was telling him he was like, you know, I see you do like a lot of college stuff and stuff like that. I'm trying to tap into that market, and uh, I was like, oh, I was like, well, you're more than welcome to come to one of my college events. And at that time I was doing a lot of color and that, that was a lot of my views and stuff back then because college parties are just absolutely insane. So he came, he ended up coming out and he posted, you know, his version of it coming out and I posted my version of it coming out and we exchanged numbers and, you know, it just led to just a long-term friendship. And, you know, we, I think we rode to the expo back in 2019, nine hours to drive from here to yeah. up there and you know we're just chopping it up and just talking and just you know networking and stuff when we're there he introduced me to uh, you know a lot of people who like i mean he was, he was a great guy and you yeah. know i've been up there since and <clears throat> met all the fellas and all that stuff up there and then um when his wedding came he you know hit me up he said hey man i want you to come to my wedding and send me the rsvp and stuff and i was like cool yeah, that's a good question there. And um, I will be asking him that <laughs> on April, whatever the next, not next week, but the week after. Uh, Rick is my next guest on the show. And believe me, uh, I'm going to ask that because I'm making him money. Rick, if you're here, I'm, oh I'm, we're, we're going to talk about this, bro, because oh I'm gosh. making you money, guy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Was it cool? Like, I've never been to, like, a DJ's wedding before. And, and you know, like, shout out to, to Nick for not being intimidated by the fact that, like, bro, you're, like, you know, playing in front of the most... You, you know, yeah. typically the most judgy kind of, yeah. but I, was that not the vibe? Was everybody this there like really like, let's just party and we're just yeah. gonna have a good time. I mean, that's kind of like what happened, right? Uh, yeah. I feel like everybody was there to, to just party. Everybody kind of put down the whole DJ thinking cap Yeah, and yeah. they were just kind of there. Now we're not gonna lie. Like we expected a lot from Rick because, you know, Rick always posts stuff that looks elaborate so we we expected cold sparks and dancing on a cloud and shit hanging from the ceiling and yeah. like people playing violins and stuff at the top and like it was just crazy like we expected and then a, pitbull a lot. just coming in like right. mr worldwide holy shit <laughs> <laughs> we expected like a special performance and a stage and stuff off to the, like we expected a lot for rick and um you know he he delivered but he delivered on a more of a normal scale which was was pretty freaking awesome i mean Having Nick and stuff down there, the expectation for him was a lot. I don't, I don't know if I can handle that yeah. expectation. Um, I did a DJ's wedding, uh, a, a follower and stuff, and he, he, he is like the, the main guy in his area, which is in Tennessee, and um, that was nerve wracking. And, and, but he didn't have like DJ friends there, but he was a DJ, so I know he expected a lot from me. So I can only imagine what Nick was going through at that time because there was like multiple DJs. I mean, you got bar in the room, you got, you know, Rick in the room, he invited Woo Pig, you know, he's, he's got all of his guys and stuff in there. And then you're trying to appeal to the normal individuals, like, you know, her family and yeah. his, his friends and stuff like that. So who you don't know, notice he, any of that, who, who right. aren't like feeling that. Like, I don't, right. they don't even probably know, know, know who, he, who he is, you know what I mean? Like, right, exactly. <laughs> Every, to, to them, we're just normal, you know, everyday people, but to yeah. to Why is everyone community, gushing over like, the Whoa. DJ? What the yeah. hell? Is, who is this? Who is this Why does everybody guy? love this guy? Who is this guy? Is he some type of celebrity? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was great, man. It, it, it allowed me to be able to just take a step back and enjoy a wedding without being involved in stuff in one. And I don't get to do them that often as far as going to a friend's wedding 
and stuff like that. So I would encourage you, if you've never done it before, get some friends that need to get married and stuff and well, go see. Well, you know what's crazy? Like, married. Since I started doing this, I, I haven't attended. Oh, Because I'm 40. I'm in my 40s. I am too. So nobody, no, nobody I know is getting married anymore. You know right. what I mean? Like, I, and right. I'm not getting invited to weddings by 20 year olds because right. I'm not kicking it with these people. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? So right. Right. like the invite to weddings is like dried up. I'm not a guest and I, I'm not, I don't live where I grew up either. Right. I think that's a big part too. I moved away. Like I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay. And so I don't, you know, and I've moved, I've lived in different, I've lived in Florida. I've lived in North Dakota, Pitts, and now I'm in Minneapolis. Okay. So like everybody I know that would have invited me. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a long distance relationship now. So I'm not getting the invite. So it's weird. Like I, to be a guest, like, how did that feel kind of sitting there? Did you, was it like, I want to, you know, how, what was that experience? Like, like, how did it feel to like, just sit down and relax and just yeah, enjoy it? it? It felt great. And let me just tell you your market and stuff now, which is also my market are second marriages. You know, when these folks have gotten married in their twenties and now they've divorced, and now they want to get married again in their 30s, that's when you're going to go to one of their weddings. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully that's, I get, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's then, but, when they're, they're going to invite you. Fine. I'm just like hoping, like I'm looking on Facebook. You know how you see like relationship status change. Like, oh shit, they broke up. Maybe, right. maybe we're going to get it. We're going to get invited right. to a wedding. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to be a guest and stuff at, at Rick's, he sat, he sat the D, I don't know if this was strategy or not, but he sat the DJs at the same table. So me, Eric, Massingale, um, yeah. Uh, bar and uh, and and it was another guy, uh, but we were we were all at the same table, That's and cool. so it was um, it yeah, was cool. It purpose. Yeah, yeah, it, it was pretty cool. Stuff. It's better than that than sitting like with his aunt. You know, like right. what are you, what are you gonna you know well, talk I, to I, these people for? I did have his mom and dad over my left shoulder, like they were literally sitting like uh, let's see, let me like right here, okay, <laughs> next to me. So I, I I don't know if I you know, kept my mouth and stuff clean or not, but either way, his mom started following me. So she must've liked something I did, <laughs> which is weird, but I'm just like, okay, you know, it's all good. We, we, we love everybody. We love the Whippers. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, well, I have a little surprise for you. Um, okay. I went, like I said, I did some digging and I thought it would be fun to show you a clip of one of your early gig logs. Oh, and, God. And, yeah. Let's do you guys. Okay. Um, hit the like button right now if you're oh excited boy. about this. Oh and then boy. everybody start throwing some questions in the chat you got for, for Jay while I got him here. We'll do some Q&A. Oh, now, now this clip is something. It's just it's one of your early setups, and I want to ask you some questions about Ooh. it. Ooh. Look how nervous. I love it. You're in the Ooh. hot seat. This yeah, you didn't so know. so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> I know it's going to be bad. <laughs> no, it's, well, we'll see. All right, so here we go. So here's right. what I found. Okay. Um, and then it thinks it should play like right away as as I get it up there. All right, you ready? All right. All right, here we go. Oh, right, I'm back it up. I'm back. Let's back it up. 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 Here we go. Ooh. All right, guys. We're gonna show you what the setup will look like tonight. Here. Okay, I gotta stop it right there. Okay. I love the um, the whisper. Are you doing the whisper because it's that awkward shit where there's other people in the room and you're yes. like, yes, I hate it, and it and they're they're just looking at you and stuff like, who the hell is he talking to? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, I'm I'm doing like the little subtle like, yeah, guys. So this is the uh, <laughs> table. And stuff right, and you know, thinking, oh God, I hope she's not looking over my shoulder. Was, <laughs> bro, I'm so with you. I feel awkward as fuck when right. I'm in there holding the camera, like talking. Because now it's almost like, who is this guy? Some fucking, right. you know, influence TikTok right. influencer. Like, at least we're not as obnoxious. But I do that. That sub as soon as I heard that, I was laughing. I'm like, oh, he's yep. doing the subtle, <laughs> quiet whisper. We're gonna yep. listen to it one more time and keep it rolling. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to show you what the setup will look like tonight here. <laughs> you know, we're going to QSC 122s, uh, Ultra Bar <clears throat> 12. Oh okay, hold, hold, hold on a second. Hold oh on a second. Oh hold, hold on a second, my guy. Are they on the floor? What's are they on the floor? <laughs> okay. So, coincidentally, this is the same venue that that the worst gig thing happened at. That's just, that's the exact same venue. Bloody um, Foot? This is Bloody Foot? Yeah, this is Bloody Foot venue right here. This is the same place. I played that place a lot because it was like, um, at that time, I had worked for a DJ company, and they had a contract with them. So, we were like the, the rotating DJs in there. So, the guy would send you know me out, another guy, another guy, another guy, you know, whoever's open. 
Um, and so I did this venue a lot. Now, yeah. one thing that they did is they supplied um, a table and stuff for you. And I, can, I don't know how long ago that was, but I didn't have stuff like the event table and all that yet. Yeah. So all everything I had was in the open, and it's so cringe to see this stuff. Now but, it's so cringe. It's but it's great though, bro. Like, how cool is it to look back and right. see the evolution of where right. you were and where you are? And I've seen these. I, yeah, when I first started, it was the same deal. I, I had this skirted ass table, and yep. you know, you're looking and you're like, okay, and came. Like the thing is, there's still got now. There are guys out there that are that are still doing this, and that's that's fine. You know, especially if you're first starting out, you're not gonna right. want to invest three thousand dollars into a D, into a DJ table. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, but I okay. So whoa, 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 whoa. But speakers on the floor. What's happening there with the speakers <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> okay, so in this venue, they only put you in one spot, and you had to be in that spot. So my tripods actually would not fit in the corner that they put me in. No matter how I tried it, and the the only way I can get it is like if you if you have a tripod, you know that it sits like you know like this and stuff like that. So the only way that I could sit those speakers on the tripods had to look like this, and I was just worried that the yeah. you know it would eventually you know tip over because of the vibration of the speakers. So I was just like, you know what, this is a very small venue. I'm just gonna sit them on the floor. What harm could it do? Nothing. Just a couple yeah. of monitors on the yeah. floor. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. So there's the lights. We got the lights <laughs> sitting on the table also. Okay. So you got to talk us through that that idea. But okay. I guess because of the, the tripod, yep. you got nowhere to put the light, I mean, right? Think about this. There's no room behind me. Look how close that plant is. Like there's a door and a plant right behind me. Like I'm still putting stuff under the table. Like there's no place to put your 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 cart. There's no place to put anything. So you stuff stuff under that table uh, and then everything else just has to be close quarters. And I couldn't yeah. get that up at all. Just using up the table space. Now, the yeah. other thing I want to ask you about, and I wonder if other people are noticing, what is going on with the logo? And like, oh, is that your is that that's, your laptop? That's, yeah, that's the laptop. So that was the company and stuff that I was with, and they had us. They had stickers and stuff to put on the back of the laptop, so that you know it was kind of like the advertisement and stuff for them. All also, you know, we had to wear shirts that had that logo and stuff on it too. Okay, and it looks like it's just taped on there, or what's yeah, going on there? It, well, it's just sticky. It, it, it's like a big sticker, so okay. it just sticks on the back, and it, it looks like it started coming up and stuff at the corner. Party time, party yep. time DJs. Yep, that's what party it was. Party time DJs. All right, let's yep, keep going. Right here, we got the ADJ quad phase and the ADJ aggressor. Oh, bad lights. Yeah. So we gonna make sure we get everything. Going. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Now this is this is is this all supplied by this by party times? Are they no, you, this no, is yours? I, I, yeah, you have to buy everything and, and stuff there. So everything there, I purchased this mixer. I, I, I can't remember where I found it from. I think I found it on eBay, and okay. I got it off of eBay. It's like the Pioneer something three thousand or something like that. It was literally just a line mixer. No, 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 nothing. Everything because the program I was using then was called OTS, OTS DJ. And yeah, you mentioned that click. next. You mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a click. It's just a click DJ program where you just when you want the next song to put it, you just put it up there and it'll automatically blend over. It automatically syncs. It it, it kind of does the work for you. OK, so, yeah, we're going to see that. But I got to say, it looks <laughs> dusty as hell here bro what's going on bro, when i got that mixer i was so mad because it didn't look new at all and it never would look new no matter what i put on it it would come back ashy as hell every single time that i did it, it would just, that just looks ashy if you guys have ashy elbow that's exactly what this was the entire time it was just ashy ass mixer and it wouldn't come clean to this day oh that thing God. is downstairs in my garage and no it's still you ashy. don't still have it you still, I have, still it. have it i do still have it it's ashy uh. as hell down there too it's terrible <laughs> it's horrible i hate that thing oh my god all right let's take a look at the computer software there it is ready to rock we already did a sound check so stay there's a remote there what's that remote there on the left <laughs> that is that for lighting <laughs> what the hell is that that controls the lights uh, looks like a TV, like an old ass TV. Is there yeah. a fucking antenna on it, or what's going on with that? Yeah, there's an antenna on it. It actually runs the uh, the Chave lights. The the one to the left, the uh, Derby light. It had a remote to it where you can change the uh, 
you can change the colors of the, the phone. <laughs> so, Get a slifter. <laughs> this is so terrible. That didn't work either. He tried you know, it. Like, I tried everything. I tried spraying stuff. I tried Windex. I tried. <laughs> I tried everything. That thing would not come back to life. It was dead. <laughs> it was dead. It's crazy. Oh my god! All right, so we got the remote, and then uh, yeah, let's what talk. Do We've got the mouse up there. I want to see this software mouse. again. Who uses mouses still? Mice. <laughs> teach. I think there's still some mice people out there, bro. I've seen some people bring like full on like monitors, like desktop monitors oh and shit to, to gigs. So look, what is this so called bad. again? What's this software called? It's called OTS DJ. It's, it's a very, very outdated DJ software, but it's not a um, thing anymore, right? Is it is no. it gone? It's gone. No, it didn't even play uh MP3 format. Like it had to take your MP3 and it had to reformat it to a certain file, and that's the way that it played it. And uh, you know, there was like thousands of songs and stuff in there, but literally it's a drag and drop, and you know how you know how Serato has autoplay, but instead of going all the way to that gap, like the last, like you know, when Serato comes on, it, it gives you this signal that lets you know that the song's about to end. Yeah, yeah. The other side, you, it, you you can have it to where the other side just automatically starts picking up and it'll start beat matching right then and there and bring in the next song so there's never any gap. Oh. But, I mean, you don't do anything but drag a song, drag a song, drag a song. Did it do all right? Did it do a pretty good job of doing that? It did. It did. It it, uh, it, it did really good. Um, The only problem with, with that was um working, working the video side of it because it has a video version and stuff too where you can play music videos and stuff out of it. Yeah, and uh, sometimes it was you know really spotty, really iffy, but for the most part, yeah, it, it was a pretty decent program at its time. But I was way done with that. I had no idea about Serato here, guys. So please don't kill me. <laughs> well, I had th- no idea Serato existed. <laughs> Thanks for letting me roast you a little bit. I just thought that'd be a little bit fun. But let's talk. Like, what's cool about like we said, like seeing that you. So you went from that to Serato right yeah. away. Like, how did how did you discover all that, and what made you decide I'm going to get a. a you know, a controller and start learning how to beat match and all that. Like what inspired you to do those things? Well, believe it or not, this program actually inspired me to beat match. I, I always, I've always loved music and I always like on the radio at that time. Cause I didn't use any like satellite radio and stuff. So just on the radio, when they had the DJ and stuff on, I used to love how songs blended and intertwined like stems without stems. You know, yeah. I, I liked that a lot on there, but I couldn't find anything that allowed me to, to be able to do that, I have full control over that until I came across controllers and stuff. And so the controller aspect of it came from DJ bar. Like when I started watching his videos and stuff, he started getting like controllers and saying, Oh, you know, you can manipulate stuff or this is how I play stuff and play stuff in clubs. And this is club standard and Serato's club standard. So I'm like, okay, well I'll give it a try and stuff. So I got the, um, my first controller was the, SX2, the Pioneer DDJ SX2. I still got it in the closet over there. You say, and, bro, uh, you're starting to sound a little bit like a hoarder. Yeah, <laughs> I, look, but but believe it or not, though, Aaron, I, I have I, look. I have tried to sell this thing. I have literally put it at dirt cheap, and I everybody who it. wants it and stuff are like, you know, someplace way out there, and they're like, oh, can you send the case too? And it's like it's it's too much money to send it somewhere. I just need to just sell it and be done with it. Like yeah. I'm ready to move on from all of that equipment and stuff down there but what did bar <clears throat> say it was um thank you what was this thing he told us to say oh yeah he uh, said uh what, thank like, you th- for what for your service or something it was your, like, yeah thank you for your service yeah or, or whatever and then sh- and then just ship it into and the just, night just ship it off ship i'm just, i'm ready night. i'm like way <laughs> past that like I, i've even thought about creating an ebay store and putting it on there and just saying you know what if you just give me a few dollars for it i it's yours. I don't oh, care. Oh shit, I don't bro! Use it. Guess. Look at this. Look at this. You might be able to. Pu- 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 you might be able to get rid of it now. You got some interested people here. Met- I know who that is. Metro. <laughs> <laughs> I know who that is. All yeah, right. I'm, I'm selling it for next to nothing, man. I, look, two hundred dollars. You can get an SX2. Let's just put it out there right now. Two hundred dollars. It's yours. Hey, I got two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred five. 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 Two hundred there this is crazy you okay so you got every you got all they got the dirty you line go. do you do you have still that sticker on the laptop <laughs> <laughs> 
Hell no. <laughs> Look, laptops have definitely evolved since then. I do not have that sticker okay. on. <laughs> All right, so there's progress. All right, so he he will let things go. We've got absolutely. that's that's promising. <laughs> yep, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so you 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 got what what did you were you self taught? Did you sort of like all right? I'm just gonna sit in my basement and just sort of just figure this out on my own, or did you get a pro, you know buy a, a lesson or meet with other DJs? What got you? How'd you learn how to beat match? Well, it was really uh, I, I kind of self taught. I I, I want to say that I have an ear and stuff for it. And sometimes when you have an ear, you just keep trying it, and just keep trying to keep trying it. It just kind of falls into place. So of course, when I had a controller, it allowed it allowed me to be able to start and stop when I wanted to. I had full control over the music, and so that helped out, and it just got better and better as time went on. But yeah, I, I was I was pretty much self taught. Are you were you ever a musician at any point too? Never. No, you, you might be the first um, DJ that I've chatted to that hasn't been like a drummer or yep. or something out there. So you're saying it comes natural, or you you say you naturally kind of kind of like feel the beat and in phrasing and all that. Like you kind of were naturally able to figure that out. Yeah, and it's always just been fascinating. Like it's always been one of those things that you heard in a, from a distance, and and you, you didn't even think about DJing and stuff at that time. Like I said, I've always loved music, but. I had no way to express music until I became a DJ. Oh, so yeah. I, I, well, I didn't play any, I think the only instrument I've ever played was like a saxophone in high school. And that's because my mom was like, just try it one year. And if you don't like it, I was like, I don't even like it the first semester. So I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of done with the saxophone sports. I'll play sports, but let's, yeah. let's try something different. So, yeah. Do you agree that I know this is like a hot topic for DJs, wedding DJs specifically, like I know club DJs are, don't understand why we have this problem. But uh, recently, uh, I think Travis uh, put up a post. He said like a lot of the inquiries he's getting now, almost a high percentage of them are, are, are couples asking, do you mix? Yeah. You know, so do you feel like it's definitely a competitive edge that you have? Because so you're in North or South Carolina? Where are you South at? Carolina. So yep. you're in South Carolina with Rick, right? So Rick's down there. Or well, Rick's in North Carolina. He's about three hours away from me. Um, and I can tell you that that is 100% spot on it okay. is spot on. It separates me from the next guy. Cause one of the, one of the most inquired things for my couple is like, you know, first of all, they're like, don't play any slides. I'm like, bet I, I can do that. Don't play this artist, this artist, this artist, or this artist, bet I can do that. And they're like, and we want, we want a lot of music. We, we want to hear a lot of music. So we, we would yeah. like for you to mix in fact. I was like, yeah, I can do that too. And that, and like they're like, well, we've never we don't go to weddings where they do that. A lot of weddings that we go to, the DJs play the whole song, and they don't they don't mix with stuff well. And it's the same songs that we hear every time we go to somebody's wedding. Yeah. And I'm doing a lot of you know like 20 year old weddings and you know 30 year old weddings, and they want to have fun and they want to hear like fast. Everything's like fast paced. So yeah, I definitely agree with Travis on that. And you know, it, it's true. Like it, when I first started, I wasn't mixing either. And the reason why was the company that originally, I, I did this, a similar journey with you. Like I got hired by a bigger company just to figure yeah. it out, get my feet wet, you know, get yeah. gigs under my, learn, make mistakes along the way, you know, that way. Right. Right. Uh, but when I would play and they were specifically like, don't mix, right. Don't, don't blend, just play the whole damn song. That's what yep. people want. But yep. I would do it. And then like, I think it was when I played Pour Some Sugar on Me, uh -huh. which is a five minute song. <laughs> yep. Well, unmixed or on short edit, whatever. And, yep. and by like minute four, I could see people just kind of like, by the fourth time, they're singing, <laughs> yeah, pour some sugar. I get it. I fucking get it. Sugar is all over me. I get right, it. Right. Right. You know, I was like, you know, I, I'm bored. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm with you guys. And a wedding, I feel like, is the time where like, let's hit him with as many bangers as you can to right. kind of like at the end of the night, you're like, I can't believe how many songs I heard. Like I had so much fun, but right. you play less and it's easier, right? right? Mm -hmm. It's easier to just push play and let the song ride out. But I think people have a better time when you're, when they sing that first chorus of the song and you see all the hands out and then boom, you drop in that next one. And drop like, in the next one. Right. You're, abs you're absolutely right. And that point that you were talking about, as far as like playing the whole song, that's where I was at when I was ready to quit because I was like, oh. I I'm just, I'm tired of hearing the same songs. I'm tired of playing the whole songs. Like I would really like to bring in another song faster than this, Yeah, you know? 
And and if it wasn't for YouTube and learning all this stuff and try, trial and error and all that stuff, I, I mean, I, I definitely would not have separated myself from any competition and stuff that I have. It's It, it just makes it so much easier because of how much more you can do. You know, I'm telling people to try to get as close to 100 songs, if not more, as possible, because before you were playing like 30, maybe 40 uh, at most. And now I'm like, I'm trying to get to 100. I, I want to play 125 songs, but I want to give you the core of each song so that you don't miss out on it. Yeah. And then we're going to do something else. Let's go to something else. Why stay here? Well, and so. I tell my couples too, because when I explain this during my consultations with them, and, and a lot of times I have to explain what mixing is because they're like, what's that? And I go, well, right. it means that I'm, you know, I explain it to them. But I also say, but look, here's the deal. If 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 I got a song on and I can tell you guys are like, this is a, you know, there's bangers and then there's like super bangers, right? Right. All right, here's a super banger that you guys are all into. And I know like if I cut that out early, you guys are going to be bummed that you didn't get to sing out the bridge. Right. Right. And I, you can tell like, and so that's why my head's up. So if you're mixing, you got to keep your head up, right? What's right. going on? What's the vibe? And if they're going for it, let it ride. Right. 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 Is that kind of like how you, how do you approach that? Absolutely. Um, I, I, I look and see what certain songs that I know are supposed to hit, hit. I look and see what certain songs that I'm testing out do to see if I can, you know, move from that point. But it all starts for me uh, during dinner. You know, okay. when I'm playing dinner music, I love to switch up my dinner music um, just to kind of catch a vibe because I'm playing so many different genres and stuff of music. So I want to see who's, Nah, nah, hey, who's singing along? Who's that one aunt that's like, yeah, right? I mean, during that part, and I'm like, okay, well, I know that if I play this, 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 and this, it's going to work. Yeah. And I know if I do this, if I can get the 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 guests, I mean, the, the ones that are closer to age as the couple, I know that if I can get them singing or get them head nodding or bobbing and stuff like that, oh, I know they're in trouble all night. Yeah, that, you're right. Dinner, I, I have a dinner list, and it's I call it foreplay. <laughs> like it's, t- it's touching and teasing to right and let me touch and tease you for like yeah. the next hour and that yeah. way you're just like oh, you better so yeah. like that's kind of like how how you know you're right it, it's a missed um if you just go on autoplay you know just like look out what's what's the vibe what's going on what's going down right um, absolutely i asked uh i asked bar this and i was curious too i want to okay. ask you a couple of these questions and then guys Throw some cues in the chat if you have for for Jay, and then we'll we'll wrap up. Right. Um, first one is: Can you can you sniff out a bridezilla? Do, like w- when you're doing consultations and you're working with somebody, do you do you are there things you hear and you're like, oh shit, this is this you are going to be a handful. And then yes. what do you do? Okay, red flags and stuff for me as a DJ. Um, when the bride feels like she knows music better than i do i'm like i'm automatically that's a red flag Hmm. it's not it's not an ego thing it's just like her expectation i already know it's going to be high it's going to be extremely high if she feels like she knows the music so she's like i want you to play this 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 i i actually had a bride she wasn't really a bridezilla but she had like some weird requests like she was like i want you to stick to this list and i want you to stick to this list like do not deviate from this list and I'm like, wait, you're you're literally doing my job right. for me, and I can't do anything. Poorly, by the way. Right. Poorly. <laughs> and you're handcuffing me, and you want me to kind of be like a magician out here. Like, you want me to play it in a certain way to where people are going to dance. And it was a lot of sing-along music. So it wasn't a lot of dance music. So, I mean, I had to comply and stuff with that because, Lord forbid, I do something completely different, and she just, like, roasts me. Like How'd it go? Road. Did did it work? Um, I feel like it was just just an average wedding. It, it wasn't like one that they just let me cook. You know, it was yeah. just it was mainly just, oh yeah, we'll get up and dance. Oh no, we're not dancing. Oh yeah, we'll get. It's a lot of up and down. So it, it was like a roller coaster. And that sucks for you because you everyone's looking at you like this dj sucks right. and you can't go on the mic and be like this is not my fault this is right. i'm just doing unless they come up and uh, were you getting lots of re- i felt like i had a wedding where it was the same deal like hey you know we already have the list we know what we want to hear just right. play it and and, right. and you're just kind of like Ugh. and you talk to them during one of the things i brought up was like are you guys all right if i'm doing it <laughs> and it's bombing 
Can right. I deviate? I'll check in with you first, but are you right? And they're like, yeah, that's fine. And that's what happened. Right. I, I was just dun, 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 by the eighth song, just empty dance floor, just nobody dancing. Yep. And they were all, even she, they were sitting at their tables. Right. And so <laughs> I walked up. I'm like, hey, are you cool if I kind of go a little rogue? She's like, yeah, all right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm like, I saw, no, no, no. Hey, you know. And I went in and I kind of went rogue. And then boom, we, we danced, you know, after that. Yeah, see, I wish that that was the case with mine. Like, she she didn't give me the option, and she wasn't, like, a stickler, but I could tell she was paying attention. Like, she didn't drink a whole lot, so it was, like, during dinner, during dancing and stuff like that, like, she she had an ear on me. Yeah. And stuff, so I can tell that if I played something different, she was going to, you know, look back oh. and be like, uh, this oh, is that's what, on the list. Yeah, that's what Barr said in his – he said that – uh he he deviated a tad and the bride came up and was like hey that wasn't on my list right I'm like jesus look right. at look at what's going on all right i'm sorry and then he tanked i love that he was like fine here's your fucking you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> right and i'm gonna kill you, this wedding yeah. when he's when he said that i can relate so much because it's almost it's almost like i just want to i just want to just just say just just you know what screw this this is this is what the bride wants everybody this is what the bride wants tonight so this is what we you know because i i had a um i had a dad who, who was really bad about that i got you know i'm she wanted it was like a country wedding. first of all i'm horrible at country but i'm i'm better than average but i'm just horrible so i'm playing a lot of you know country music stuff that she had on her list it wasn't working that well. I can tell that dad had influence on it because it was a lot of old drunk country songs and stuff like that. As yeah. soon as I deviated from that, dad comes up and he's just like, hey, um, can we like go back to playing like some of the music you're playing? I was like, wait, the mm. music that everybody's sitting down and stuff right. like you, you want that? And he's like, yeah, like he, and he was nice about it at first. He came over to me three more times after that. The last one was he said, hey. I don't give a shit what's happening on that dance floor. Cause I got people out there cause I had to switch up the music. He said, I don't give a shit what happens, what's happening on that dance floor. Go back to the other music. And I said, wow. So you, you, you're hijacking your daughter's event. And so then she comes over and I'm like, you know, your dad told me I have to go back to this. And she's like, well, you know, that's my dad. I'm like, Oh, bro. Oh, so you're giving him the green light now. You don't get, this is not your day anymore. Okay, cool. Country Man. all night. And I just sat back and it was full song. <laughs> Country again. Here we go. Hit him again. No, oh, you didn't get enough? Country again. You know, and it was just I just get pissed, man. I, I get so pissed. Say, it's like, why do you have why do you have me out here? Why am I here? just gonna take over? Yeah. You, you, know? you want you come over here, Dad, and you, this is so easy, and you want to hear your bullshit. You want to hear your Clint Black. You want to hear Alan Jackson shit all night. Come on. Yeah. I'll just put a Spotify playlist sure. and go to the bar. Sure. That's what I can do. Listen, we could be petty, and I'm down for yeah. that. Like, I, I, yeah. I'm, look, I'm petty as fuck. So I'm, I'm, I'm with petty. you, bro. When, when, when people are, are, are like angry, or, or yeah, when the parents like hijack, and that's what it was. That's what happened to me there in that wedding was the parents and those people were trying to hijack the wedding, and I just yep. don't get that right. as a guest mentality, you know. Right. And that's a red flag too, I think. Right, and I think I've learned if I Absolutely. hear the couple say, "Hey, look, I got," and, and, and I don't know if it's gonna come up in the consultation, but what question could you ask to figure out like are your parents fucking nuts are they going to be a pain in the ass you know what i mean like yeah it, it's really tough because I, i'll ask them you know is, is there anything that i and i started asking this but i'm kind of scared to ask it sometimes i'm like is there anything that i need to know but i'm more asking that for like the drunk uncle like yeah my drunk uncle is going to come up there and he's probably going to be asking but i'm asking it for that reason and sometimes i get hey my mom's a real stickler like she likes to hear classic music I said, well, you know, I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to make sure that she's good because I have a whole classic section that we're going to do nothing but, you know, her style of hits. And yeah. then, but then we're going into your style because this is your day. And she's yeah. like, yeah, I think that will appeal to, to, to my mom and stuff like that. But it's, it's really not a question you can really ask. It, 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 it sucks because you just don't know until you get there. Sometimes you find the that the dad is the, the, you know, dadzilla or the mom is like, you know, I've had a, I've had a mom that got mad that the, the night ended. And I'm like, well, you only have the venue until 10 and it's 10. And she's like, no, one more song, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> what, what, I mean, what do you want me to do? People are lining up outside. She's like, no, I'm um, sorry. Could somebody come get your drunk mom and stuff oh, from over man. here? And uh, I mean, I've had it all. I have Bro. been 
through the rigors. It's the thing that a lot of the other vendors, besides the venue people, venue people, bartenders, and DJs are the ones that have to deal with those late night drunk people and their um, unreasonableness and insanity here. Uh, Here, let me get to a question here from from the chat here. This is probably like a really specific one, so we won't take too much time, but, but DJ Ray wanted to know how you like the ADJ Wolf mix. And are you planning on doing a video on it? Let me tell you, I've shot uh, I've shot three parts of a five part series of that wolf mix because I'm still learning the wolf mix. I love it. I absolutely okay. love it. But it is it could do so much. It's hard to make a video on it because there's so much more than any video I've ever seen. Any video I've seen on the wolf mix, they're only highlighting a couple of points on it. But it could do so much more. I've seen somebody run a whole concert off of the wolf mix and i'm like how do you run a whole concert off of that like i want to know like if i get these lights can i really make them look like crazy and i just haven't taken the time and stuff there's just been other stuff but i love it um i i do want to put out a five-part series on it i've shot three but i mean if you look at me on that sometimes i got a lot of hair sometimes i don't it's different days and stuff that I'm recording this <laughs> stuff. So it, it, it's tough to put that together, but I, I still plan on putting it out in, in a series format. Has it simplified your, your lighting show at all? You know, I, I feel like it has. It has. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I was on the, the Airstream DMX bridge and mm-hmm. that was cool. That was different. Um, you know, it was different from having like a board like this, the way, you know, push the knob up, push the knob up. But then it's nothing like that wolf mix, man. It's, it's just nothing. I mean, we're talking about a button push, uh, button hold, uh, turn up on a knob, switch a knob, pick a different. I mean, it's it's so much that can be done with that thing. Well, so a lot of people, I think, are, are you know doing sound switch too. Have you looked in at, at that? I, I used it for a little bit and and stepped away only because nothing against them. Mm-hmm. I'm I try to keep my lighting as like basic as as hell, and so yeah. I don't do any of that. But have you messed around with sound switch or I, I haven't. I haven't messed around with sound switch at all. Um, mm-hmm. but I heard it's I heard it's great. I mean, every time somebody puts something up and it's like a, a whole show that's been programmed and stuff like that, I think it's cool, but I wonder how much time went into that. Um, but I'm just not I'm not saying I'm not a fan of that. I just I, I know what I like. I know the stuff on the Wolf Mix I like. So yeah. I, I probably won't be that, you know, dipping and dabbing into that. Let's do this one. I like this one. Um, okay. Do either of y'all feel like moving heads are becoming unnecessary as people don't seem to care about them compared to just having up lights? Um, go ahead. My first thought on that is like, um, I don't know if this is, is this, it's a situation where people don't care. You know, I've never had, I don't know if, if, if that's the case, Okay. but um, I don't do, I don't do moving heads because of, this just it's more set up and lighting and i i i just do up lights for for my light but what are your what are your thoughts on that um i like the the moving head aspect i i like that that um still kind of creates that it's like the last defense for like a club like atmosphere is having moving heads and stuff uh on the hit the dance floor or just stay on the ceiling i get roasted so many times on my videos because they're like are oh, your movers just staying up in the in the ceiling i'm like well i'm trying not to keep it right on them and blind them and stuff like that so i kind of keep it a little bit higher but i was a person who used the uh, wash fx the chave wash fx and it you know i used to cover i had two of them so i used to cover pretty much the whole dance floor but i just saw a lot of people you know doing this number right here and stuff like that so i'm just like you know what i like the clean look of two movers Mm -hmm. and then just doing up lights and stuff around the room i think that that's that still gives me the ambiance that I'm looking for and that, you know, it's just a little bit easier and stuff to be able to use. And you're not, you know, guests are not just sitting there like, Oh, oh you yeah. know, so I, I like movers. I still like movers. Yeah. You want, yeah, exactly. Like what you're, that's great. You're looking at like, Oh, I'm blinding people and right. that's not any fun. And I, right. I know that too. When I used to use the dots par wash, I had those like on a tripod up above my head and just like, yep. and it was, it was like a spotlight. I was like the cops out there. Just yep. like, Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I'm fucking dancing. Oh, you're it, it felt like that to these people. And I'm like, this yep. is not fun. And it's not affecting me at all. I'm behind it. You know? right. <laughs> I'm right. Not experiencing this, but when you got people, I actually, it's funny. I brought those to a wedding show. And um, this is my first one of my my first ever wedding shows, and I thought, oh, I'll set my lights up; it'll look cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> I had them on, 
Uh-huh. And as people are coming up to talk to me, I'm going like this, and they're like, "Yeah, so uh, when is uh, <laughs> what's your uh, how long have you?" <laughs> <laughs> like this guy don't go over there oh my god i was like i better so i walk over i'm pointing them up oh and, and it's funny like i did book a wedding and uh the group after it was over uh the groom was like i'm so glad we met you at the wedding show even though you were like fucking blinding us at this <laughs> oh we remembered it oh man that's awesome that's <clears throat> awesome it's, it's always trial and error at those wedding yeah. shows and stuff because you just don't know what's going to appeal to the masses and stuff i've been to those i've, I've been so cringe at those and stuff too dude so. how about pass on like a, because you've been doing it so long you've been doing it um things that you know we talked about what you did earlier on your youtube stuff <clears throat> what you don't do now like are there things that you don't do now as a as a dj that you was a staple you know, just kind of like you just kind of evolve from that or you just stop doing that. What what would something like that be? Well, um, there are there are things that I don't really highlight and stuff is more. First of all, you know, as we are getting older and stuff like that and we don't have as much help uh, and we're not 20 trying to put these, you know, big setups and stuff together. Um, I started getting things that are way more simplistic um, as far as as far as my setups and stuff go. I mean, that setup that you had right there, I mean, all that fits on the card and I still have room. But, you know, now I try to I try to get it as simple as I can. Everything needs to have wheels. Mm -hmm. Everything. If it doesn't have wheels, I'm not taking it. Um, And I I had to get away from stuff like TVs. I had to get away from that. That's a distraction. I don't care what market you're in. If you have music videos or you're not just running a monogram on it, it is just a pure distraction to have tvs people stand there and literally look at the tv instead of dancing and i'm like i don't want any distractions and stuff up there interesting yeah so um you know monograms i'm kind of getting away from um you know unless it's like you know the the couple is adamant about it i'm starting to hang that up because i don't get a whole lot of client requests for that um they want it on the photo booth so I, i will still put it on like their image and stuff for the photo booth but other than that, I just I try to just get it as as simple as I can, and yeah, I, I like the setups and stuff that I have now. I've got three different setups, and it's just for three different styles of parties, and then we just roll with that. Well, how how many shows are you doing? You're doing over what this year? Um, right now I'm scheduled to do sixty, yeah. uh, and I'm and I'm booking um for 2025 and stuff yeah. right now. Also, it, when you're doing that many, you know it you have to keep it simple, otherwise you just lose your mind. It, and right. you're probably doing a lot of back to backs. Yeah. You know, I try to limit the amount of triple weekends I do, but yeah. I, but I don't know if, if you're like me, but like when a lead comes in, you're like, oh damn it, that gives me a triple. I can't say no, bro. Right, I can't it's hard. Send it's away. A, oh, I, God, I it's love hard. fucking future Aaron. You know, yeah. for 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 money. You know, it's just yeah. like God damn it, why did I book? <laughs> I book this right, but I don't care because all I see is a, I want to win too. Like when a lead yeah. comes in, like I have to book it because I right. I want to win. But this it's will. A high. It, for sure um we got we got to talk about these i had a lot of people asking this in the chat too the 44 okay. g2s those are new to me okay but i know you you've had them for what a couple years now and, and yeah let's get your thoughts on 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 those okay so guys i absolutely love the 44 g2s they are probably the best speakers that i have ever had wow um the reason i love them so much is because of the range that I can get from them. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you, when you get up to 250, you get up to 300, you know, you shouldn't use them. You get a lot of drop off and stuff like that. So I I understand that. But most, the majority of my weddings are 200 and below. The, mm-hmm. the just the max. Like usually I'm like 150, 175. And that's, those G2s will cover them no problem. I've done proms and stuff with them and I wish I hadn't. I wish I had added more stuff to it. But I, I mean, I can't knock those. Those are great. And, I, I, you know, I've seen your videos and stuff on it. I know you got a cart and stuff for it, but I've always wondered, why didn't you get the um, the cart the that, attached to the, yeah, that attached to the back? Uh, it just makes it so much easier for me when I'm loading in and out, and you can use it to put stuff on to roll into your event. Like, it's, it just makes it so much easier. Right. So I'm not against it right now. Um, I want to do like my first gig with them. Here, here it is. Okay. The reason is two reasons. One, okay. um, I, I try to limit how many times I go in and out of the venue. 
okay. personally. I just okay. and I realize if I put those casters on, I'm it makes sense. I, I take them off, I roll them into the venue, nice and easy. Yep. But that's two trips, and okay. then I got to come back and do another one. And then some of the venues that I do, if it's like downtown, I'm you know the least amount of times I have to run in and out. I I try to be other otherwise I'm watching my car go by by somewhere. Just like <laughs> thanks for the car and all the free shit. I'm a DJ now. Like God damn it. Right. So right. that I mean. is the mentality in my head. So I'm definitely like going to do. I have a wedding this Saturday okay. and I'm taking them out. And that's why I was like, um, I don't know if you saw the video of like figuring out how to pack all this shit in my car. Yeah, I saw it. it. Yeah. So I got it all in there and then I got the gravity stand in there, which, yep. which opens up. And so that's with that thing and the, and the 44s, I'm at two trips, which I feel good about. Okay. But after this wedding, I might just be like, fuck it. I'm getting a, I'm getting the wheels. I know a lot of you guys out there would be like, Aaron, just get the goddamn wheels just and you're fine. Wheel. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally just me going. And I guess I could probably slide them on and, and, you know, put stuff on top. Do you put stuff on top when you, I do, I do. I put, um, like if I have to put any type of stand or, or pole and stuff on there, it's just easier just to put it on there and just, you know, that becomes on wheels. So at max, now I do three trips. So everything fits on my cart, my rock and roller cart. And then, you know, everything else usually fits on the two 44 G2 subs. And then I just, you know, roll that cart out, then roll the two speakers out and I'm out. Okay. That, that makes, yeah. If I have those off the cart, uh -huh. now my big cart is open to take the booth and everything else. Go. I have. I, okay. All right. All right. You're talking me into well, well, it. I'm, guy. Just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, try it out the way okay. that you're going to do it because I'm interested and you know whether or not I should just get two rock and roller carts and just call it a freaking day, take those other two off and roll everything in. It's just that when I get to my trailer at the end of the night and I've got two 44 G2s and I'm dog tired trying to put that thing in the trailer, that's a lift. That's a yeah. lift instead of rolling in. And I just, for me, that that just won't work for me. I'm trying to lift as less as I can. Uh, dude, bro, that, I, I'm with you. I don't have a trailer. I'm still loading in an SUV because I'm terrified of trailers. I'd be a menace to the road. I, I mean, I, literally, I would be arrested every weekend. This fucking guy. He can't, he, we can't have him out or he's... It, so, like, that's what I'm worried about, like, uh, not being trailer guy. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the things people also ask about the 44s, you know, when, when the dance floor is packed with people, yeah. do they lose their juice? And so, and then my other question is, like, you know, the spreading them out, like, how do you... What, what do you do to... You're shaking your head no, so I guess you're saying no. So they don't, they, they're pretty, they handle the crowd in front of them pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. They handle the crowd pretty well in front of them. Uh, and I just base the spacing on the venue. Um, okay. You know, sometimes I will go corner to corner. Just remember when you go corner to corner, you're inviting people to walk up to the booth because you get that space between your speaker and your setup. And this is where they're going to travel to, to do request. But uh. when you got them closer like that, they'll go right in front of your facade. It's almost like you are having your own barrier, but as far as putting them wide out there on, on each side, like, you know, spaced out, I usually do that for proms, for kids and stuff like that. I'll, I'll do that because I just feel like it, it's covering more range. And because you're going to have so many people at one time in that area, it's not like just having 30 people. You've got like 125, 140 on the dance floor at one time. So yeah. I just kind of space it out then. But if you've only got like, you know, a, a, a realistic dance floor, 20, 30 people, and it looks great. Yeah, you're right. I would say the G two's close would be great. Okay, what's your what do you do with the settings in the back? Do you um, volume all the way? Like, where do you usually set like your sub volume and your regular volume? Um, uh, three fourths on of the way turned up on both, and then I just use my mixer to control any volume after that. Okay, all right. So and anyway, I, I, okay, I, so I rarely you, red line. Rarely hit the red, right? Yeah, I, re I rarely red line and stuff with, when I have it at those settings. Okay. All right. Well, I got my first one this weekend. I'm really pumped, dude. I got a. It's a. Um. It's a bigger venue, so it's like a good test for them. 167 uh -huh. people. Um. Yeah. That's that's my plan. Taking them. I'm 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 stoked. You know, even for speed. Like the thing that sets them apart for me, I think, from other columns is are those those cones. You know, the the tweeters on the yeah. top. Don't, yeah. Aren't those make the difference, right? For the yeah. highs and speeches. God, they do. God. <laughs> they sound so. Uh, you. I'm just curious to hear your review and thought and stuff after you use them. Cause I, one of the questions I wanted you to ask bar that I forgot to ask is, you know, he has those. Oh, and that's I'm just right. Like, yeah. And I'm like, why do I still see you using the, uh, the JBLs? Like I, I know the JBLs are great 
and you get a longer throw and stuff with them, but you don't he doesn't use the 44 G2s at all. Like yeah, I don't you see them at, much, no. Yeah, if you look at anything he posts, anything he ever puts out as far as the video, why he's not using those things. And I I'm Here like, is. well, sell them, bro. I mean, you can <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of people out here that will definitely, definitely buy those things. So yeah, I think he likes the um the tops look. And yeah. I think because with his with his look, he kind of has the speakers like right inside his facade, you know. Yeah. But yeah. you're right. I know. I, I only saw them out. He took them out a couple of times. Um, I saw R- Rick uses them now, too. Yeah. And so he takes them out. Yeah. Yeah. So that thing that thing he had at his wedding, though, I've, I've never seen that. I don't I, I've never heard of that for he had like a, he used the LD big subs of like 20 something inch subs. And then he had the RCF tops. Yeah. And they were extremely loud. It, it was super loud like that we had no problem hearing music that night it was, it was crazy yeah i think it was the l the, the eight do you have 20s or 18s i thought he was the the ico uh 18s. i feel like he had 20 Maybe i want to say he didn't say a teen number i think he said a, i really had to go back and watch this video <laughs> it was probably 18 so <laughs> he's like i ain't teen in this shit we're going yep. in the 20s baby we ain't no, we ain't no teenagers in here we grown men in here <laughs> crazy oh man i love it all right um last thing i'll ask you and then i'll let you go yep. is, there, is there any gear on your radar or is there, is there anything new that you're bringing out this season that you're like you're super stoked about um <laughs> uh, no not not really i can tell you that um the only thing that's been on my radar that i finally got and i'm sure i'll get heckled and stuff in the chat and stuff for is i'm finally moving over to MacBook Pro for holy <laughs> for laptop. Shit. Oh my god! I know I'm going to get roasted for that. We I got always, one. We I got have, one. And I have bro, always that's been a Windows user. Even on that video you had, that was a Windows computer. I've moved to a Windows Spectra and all that stuff. Had it all nice and stuff, but I've had more problems with my equipment than ever. Uh, with Windows and nobody has any issues with Mac. So I just got my Mac and stuff last week. I've been working on it. I'm going to test it on Twitch and stuff like that. I'm just going to try and let's oh. just see what happens. This is a big <laughs> move. Is it a big move. Dude, this never happens. People don't, they don't leave. They don't leave. Uh, yep. You're getting fireworks. You're getting all sorts of shit. They don't yep. leave like the, the Windows, the, the, com- the convert. We ah. Uh, we yep, have yep. converted him. Oh, I man. can't believe it. Are you like, once you, you fired it up and, and you got it yeah. like loaded and everything? Like, let's see yeah. it. Let's see. Like, what, I, is I it over it there? Right. Yeah, I got it right here. There it is. Oh, it is. man. I've been Beautiful. working on it and stuff. I was working on it before we got on the call and I'll be working on it afterwards. Let's all we need. We got to get a sticker on that shit. That's all you need <laughs> on there. Come on. <laughs> um, you know. I don't like the clean look of it, but are are people putting stickers on it? Because I only have like maybe like three stickers I would want to put on it. But that's what I got on mine. I so it. now with that, is do you have something like a, a cover over it first, or you just put the sticker on? Um, just a sticker on it. That okay. I, oh, damn it, I can't remember where I got that. It's um one of those like skin it places or something like that. But you just you know you tell you you design it and then you send it to them and, and it's just a peel off. And it just lays right on, and it's it's thick too. Know. It's nice, okay. um, but I, I like to I like to have that up just as a little little advertisement. Although yep. I don't know if I ever mentioned this. Did I tell you guys the time where um, the the mother of the bride made me cover that. I don't know if I ever mentioned this. Oh wow, bro! I'm I'm at this venue and I'm I'm doing a sound check for the ceremony, and I come in and there's a black napkin hanging over my laptop i remember the story you did say did this. i say this i'm like what the <laughs> hell and yeah i come in and the planner was like yeah she doesn't like the it doesn't go with the scheme like scheme the walls are yellow there's there's no scheme in this fucking room what are we talking about here so um what i've done is I, on my windows i've put a um a uh, qr code okay and stuff that's over this and it leads to my link tree and that way you can do any everything you can Scan it. You can book me. You can follow me. You can look at, you know, everything that is me. You can tip me and stuff if you want to. But it's just like a little, it, it, would, it would cover this area right here. So it's just like a little QR code and stuff that I put there. It's real subtle. 
people ask about it. It's a it's a talkative piece. I've had people. Do they do it? Do they? Yeah, do you see I've people had, walking up to me. Hold oh, still, yeah. hold still, guys. Oh yeah, they're yeah. like they're like, oh gosh, what does this QR code do? And I've 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 actually gotten tips and stuff off of it and stuff too. Once they realize everything that you can do with it, so that was just an option and stuff I put up there. I just figured it would be a talkative piece, and they're like, who is this guy? Well, bam, you can look there it up go. right there. All right, iPhone or Droid? Oh, uh, definitely iPhone, bro. Come on now. So you're your iPhone, so, but you're not Mac. Yeah, How I'm just not Mac. Like I have uh, what I'm running the, the 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 setup. Like I'm talking to you right now on another MacBook Pro that's over here, and I've got yeah. iPads and yeah, we I've got, got him. we got them. It was He's, just that one. You just needed to fully convert. You just needed to come on over. Just yeah. come on. It was so, the last thing to be converted. It's the last thing. Is that was that an M3, M2? Which one was it? Um, that was the M2, I believe. M2. I think it was M2. Yep. Yep, M2. And now you can, you know, are you doing with stems and stuff like that? Or it, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stems is like, um, it's like Christmas every gig. That's that's what I feel like it is because now, yeah. now the mashup, mashups that you can do live. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, they're just next level. And people are watching. Like, I, you know, like yeah. when you say like no one's noticing. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're picking up. But when you see them start to hear the, 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 the the, the live mashup, like the vocals on one and the next song, and you see yeah. like that connection, like, wait, that's whoa, yep. that's and then they start looking at you. Yep, bro, it's fun. That was the thing, like, you we talked about earlier, like mixing as the DJ, it, it it's more fun than to just yes. sit there and push play and then drink a Red Bull for three and a half minutes, yes, push play on the next one, go to the bar, go talk to somebody. That's a boring ass night. It is, it mixing is. I, I love it. Fun. I love it when, like, I've I've been playing and I look up and I'm like, damn, it's already time to go. You know what I'm saying? That that's a yeah. great night for me. Like, if I'm if I'm so into it and so into what I'm doing, and the coordinator's like, okay, are you ready for the last song? And I'm like, damn, it's time to go already. Okay, time yeah, to go. Sure, yeah, sure. Let's All right, everybody. It. Let's thank Jay for being here today. Jay, I got your link in the description okay. of your channel, so you haven't already subscribed to um jay's uh youtube channel do you want to promote anything else or plug anything else uh i, I usually don't plug stuff on other channels i just i don't know i, I feel some type of way about that but then, look if you need to find me anywhere on any platform it's just dj j book it, it's real go. simple i'm the same way everywhere okay and are you twitch do you go on twitch are you streaming on twitch too? yes i just finished up all my um setups and stuff for twitch i've done a couple of tests so i believe i'm ready to do twitch and uh it is time to start doing some uh some streams there we go and, and like night what are you thinking about doing it what time well here we go again so i i'm thinking that if i give a lunchtime thing maybe i'll get some people i'm really just going to be testing it out Aaron. Testing i'm not gonna out. lie to you i'm, I'm going to try it at lunchtime then i want to try it at like six or seven at night or maybe even your, your drive home when you're leaving work maybe five o'clock i don't know sounds good hey thanks for being here everybody jay, jay thank you so much for jumping on no this no is problem. a fun bro this is super fun yeah it was. um have a great <laughs> season and uh we'll see you guys all at the next one hit that subscribe hit that like button keep it going keep it going keep it going keep it going thanks everybody see ya